In today's video, we're gonna learn how to create this animated text effect using Canva. Canva's come a long way for video and the things that you can do now used to take me hours in other software. So today you're gonna see some of the transitions and animations in action that can make your videos come to life in Canva. All right, let's get to it. The first thing that we're gonna do is create a design and I'm going to choose video. So let's open this up here and we're going to enter in the word that we want to animate. So unfortunately we have to do this letter by letter, but I'm going to use a short word like animate. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so now that we've got our text, we're going to duplicate this slide. So there's two ways you can do that. You can either come down here and select your slide and use the keyboard shortcut of Command C and then Command V to paste it. Or you can click on these three dots right here and click on duplicate page. All right, now we want these letters to start moving a little bit closer together. So I'm going to start nudging each of these letters so that they're starting to get that kind of smushed effect. I'm also gonna go ahead and rotate a few of these. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Now what we can do is add in our transition between the first slide and the second slide. So we're gonna place our mouse in between the two slides here and click on add transition and now we'll be able to choose the match and move effect. So this is the transition that's gonna make those letters start to come together a little bit. So that looks pretty good right there. We'll come back at the end and adjust the duration of each of these, but for right now, let's just keep it trucking. We're gonna do the same thing and duplicate this slide, and we're gonna nudge these letters a little bit closer together again. And one of the things I like to do is just select everything and then hold down Shift and move it so that I can see that central line to make sure that everything is perfectly centered with our frame. And we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna add in another match and move transition. So you can see that the letters are starting to just get a little bit squishier. All right, so that looks pretty good. So in the next slide, again, we're just going to copy and paste that slide. And now we're gonna make these letters explode away from each other. So we're gonna start animating it. I'm gonna select all of them and just center them. And then I'm gonna put some text in the center. So I just clicked on T to add a text block there. And let's say text in Canva. And I'm gonna adjust the letter spacing by coming up here to this button right here. And let's just bring these in a little bit like this. So we kinda of want this one to start small because again, we're still in the middle of that expanding effect that we're trying to get from after they've all converged, right? So we're gonna bring things in, make it a little bit tighter here. All right, so again, we're gonna add in that transition between these two slides. So we'll click on that and go to match and move. And you can see things kind of like start to pull away from each other. So that's the effect that we want. All right, we're gonna duplicate this one again, copy and paste that slide. And now we can go crazy. So I'm gonna select everything and make it really big like this. And this I want to be even bigger too. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that bigger here. So now we're gonna add in that match and move transition here by clicking on transition, match and move, everything expands. But for that final effect, what I like to do on that last slide is use one of the motion effects to add a little bit more of an animation on each individual letter. So in order to do that, we're going to select all of these letters here and then deselect by holding down shift, the text in the middle. So now you can see we just have the letters on the outside selected and click on animate and scroll all the way down until you see add motion effects. So the effect that we're looking for here is wiggle. And you'll notice that the default one is pretty intense. Like that's, we want a very subtle animation for this particular effect. So what I'm gonna do is drag the intensity way, way down, all the way down actually so that we just have it so that there's a little bit of movement. All right, so now that we have our transitions and our wiggle animations in place, we're gonna change the duration of each of these slides because we don't wanna to have to wait four seconds for the animation to happen. So in order to do that, we're gonna click on any one of these slides and then click edit timing in the top toolbar. And then let's adjust this to something like 0.3 seconds and apply to all pages. All right, so now this is what our animation looks like. And then for this last slide, we really want to be able to see that lingering wiggle effect. So I'm actually going to drag this so that it maybe is a little bit longer, maybe about three and a half seconds or so. 
and this is the effect now. So there you have it. That's how you can animate text in Canva. If you like tips like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.